Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone is doing very well. And in today's video, what we're going to be doing is jumping into Fantastic Hour 2. But we're going to be talking a little bit about a sort of update that they've had called 2.4, which was released about a week ago. And it was while I was on vacation, so I thought what I'd do for those Fantastic Hour 2 lovers out there is really share a sort of overview of the Fantastic Hour experience but also some of the things that have changed in Fantastic Hour 2.4. So as you can imagine, guys, uh, on Mac, uh, there are some limited calendar options. There's not too many. There's like Busy Cow, Apple Cow, a couple of other Google Calendar alternatives. Calendars 5 is meant to be releasing one, but Fantastic Hour 2 is one of the leading ones for Mac applications. Now, naturally, it's priced quite high. I think it's $49.99, which a lot of people you know, find a, a bit of excessive amount to pay for a calendar, which is fine. Uh, naturally, uh, it is a high, quite a high price, but you sort of get what you're paying for with Fantastic Hour 2. That's sort of my general opinion. Now, 2.4 introduced a few new things, uh, some very granular stuff, but things that have been highly requested. So as you can see here, um, this is my calendar. Um, I will go to Thursday and open that. So as you can see, this is my calendar. Uh, I've got a few uh, other people's calendars on there, so it looks pretty messy right now. It's just because I've come back from vacation. Uh, as you can see, I've opened up a email. Alex is something that's on my list. Uh, I'm testing out Focuster, which is another experience, uh, but obviously you can change that straight there, which is pretty easy to do. The, latest, the latest feature is called Travel Time. Essentially, you can add a travel time now to the events on your map. 15 minutes, for example, is a good one. You can also have custom travel time. So for example, if you have 16 minutes, this way that it can uh, give you a sort of breakdown uh, of how long that's gonna take and give you a sort of uh, pre-warning uh, of the time period. So for example, if you click day uh, on Saturday, uh, it will give you, uh, see that couple of minutes before, uh, that will give you some advanced time, which will allow you to travel towards the uh, location, which is great. So the one thing that you can do is you can now add uh, attachments. Uh, I wasn't able to find this, but I will show you a quick video of how you can add an attachment uh, to a calendar event, which is quite nice. It's an easy way to add images, files, and information that you need to know. So for example, if you had a certain event that you wanted to have ready, so for example, an Eventbrite event, you might want access to a PDF really quickly that might be available there through the Fantastic Hour 2 app. You can, uh, the one thing that you can do is combine uh, duplicate events across calendars. So for example, if you hit duplicate, uh, you can actually uh, duplicate an event and move it onto another time, which is good. Uh, that previously wasn't available uh, inside of the Fantastic Hour 2 so the next thing you can do is if you're a month view, obviously this uh, was limited to the, the actual month length. Uh, the new thing you can do is modify this inside of settings. So if we went to preferences uh, and you go to uh, appearance, uh, I think it's on, here we go. Uh, so days, uh, so you can actually have days per week or you can have uh, weeks per month. So if I clicked eight, you can now see this whole eight view, eight weeks in a month view. Uh, so that's a good way of modifying that. And you can also lower that down to now. So for example, if you wanted only two weeks in a month, you can actually see this pretty neat view uh, ahead of you. So if I want to quickly add an event here, uh, that's pretty simple to do. Uh, if I just put test, for example, uh, for next Thursday, and I moved it around here, uh, and if I press Control Z, what happens is it undo. So you can undo and redo from the actual menu. So all you have to do is go up to the edit and redo modification, which is pretty easy to do. Um, and uh, that's sort of a neat way of like culling any errors that you do make. Now, once you're in a Google Calendar experience, once you click on, so for example, this one, if I go down, uh, if I go down on this one and you've connected to your Google Calendar, you can add a response too. So for example, uh, hey, thanks for sending me this info and hit reply and that will automatically send to the sender which is good the other thing as well is you've got uh the ability to see anniversaries in a much better style so as you can see i've just clicked on uh, man rosberg his birthday's coming up as you can see there's it's a nice little message you can see the contact you can email them audio them facetime them facebook them if you like uh and it's a better way to see that uh and also you can see 
at the year of the anniversary as well. So if you're quickly looking at the events, so for example, if I'm here, you can actually see it's his 23rd birthday, which is quite nice um, and a, a good way to actually see that information. And the final thing that you can do is actually get faster push updates from Facebook if you've got any connected calendars from Facebook, which is actually a neat way to do that. So that push integration works a little bit better. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this overview of Fantastical 2.4. Now, what I think of Fantastical 2 is I think it's a pretty neat Mac application uh, for your uh, calendar experiences. I think it's better than the Apple Calendar. I think it's probably the, the best Mac experience at the moment. Obviously, it comes with a big price, but they always seem to do they always seem to do smaller updates and modify things to make it a little bit better. I'll include everything in the description below about the 2.4 update. It's something that I think you should definitely check out uh, and I'll include all of the description to get access to Fantastico 2. I know they do a free trial, so probably can take advantage of that one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy calendar updates uh, to task management apps, note taking apps, you'll enjoy this channel. So feel free to join uh, with the sort of 12,000 others who have managed to join the channel uh, and you'll be enjoying regular content uh, every single week. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.